So what we're doing here is we've got a portable air conditioner. I've heard mixed reviews. My brother has one. He says it keeps his bedroom cool. I know other people have not had luck with them. Our central air unit had the uh, fan kick out. Ordered a new one, but it takes seven to 10 days to come in. So we got one of these to try to use in the bedroom while uh, we're waiting on that part to come in, which later I'll make a video on how to install that, how I found it, all that stuff. Um, and if it works good, we're going to keep it to use in the bedroom because uh, it's nice to keep the bedroom cool. If not, we'll return it. But we're, I've never put one of these, hooked one of these up, so we're going to see how this works. We'll see if it works, if they're good or if they're bad. We'll give you a review on it. Um, I know they're not as good as, I've read, they're not as good as the window units. So we're going to put this together and see how good they are, whether or not they're worth the time and the money. And we're going to install it in our bedroom window. Try to keep it cool in here. Okay. This is your piece that will go in the window. And it goes right in here like such. And of course, it's not quite the size of our window, so we're going to have to put an adapter inside here. So, like I said, I've never put one of these in. First, we'll get it out and see what it looks like. Here's your hose, and your instruction sheet. Uh, the brand for this one is. Medea. And we'll go through here, go through the instructions, see what it looks like, and all that good stuff. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of hardware to it. This is Here's your user's manual. See how many steps it tells you is to set it up. It is digital display and has a, so this is apparently your drain hose. All right, let's see the unit itself. This is a two piece, apparently this goes to this. Yes. So that way it will fit in your window, just like this. So you can seal around your window. That's good. You don't have to make any modifications. And let's see the unit. Uh, oh, wow. The same way as a ton. So here's the unit. Okay, here's your drain hose, which you'll want to hook it into a bucket or something to drain. I'll make sure that's correct. I don't want to tell you something wrong. I'm pretty sure that's where the drain hose is set up. That's the drain hose. Continuous drain hose is what it says. Okay. Double checking that. There is two drains on this one. A dry mode, which is this drain, which you have to put the hose for the dry mode is sold separately. It doesn't come with it. And then there is the other mode, and the drain plug is down there. So you have to put have it draining into something. A uh, bucket or something, whatever you want it to drain into, because the window unit would hang outside and, of course, drain into a uh, the ground this one will drain into a bucket or whatever you're going to have it drain into so we'll have to have something for this to drain into just have to figure out what we want it to drain into this will go like so and then this will come down on it and hold it in place Just like that. Whichever side, which side do you want it draining on? 
the air hose on this side or this side. It's up to you. Then we're going to flip this around like this. And we'll close the window because the window is supposed to hold it in place. And then comes with this to seal around it. Where? This one. It's foam. To sealed? Yeah, see how there's small little creases of light? You want, you want to block those out. You cut it to fit. It's got markings. You can just cut it however you want it to fit. So we'll seal it like this. It's already got a spot cut for most, must be regular size windows. It's pre-marked or a larger window. And it just tears right there at the spot. Install it. That will seal. The nice thing about this is you don't have to take out your screen. window unit you I would have to take out my screen. Shouldn't get in anyway because I've got a screen. But not everyone has a screen. Some older houses. Like I said we don't even know how good this is going to work. I've had mixed reviews on it. We're going to test it out and if it doesn't work we'll just return it. Ooh, the air feels good coming in from outside. Right now, the temperature in our house is 86 without the, uh, since our central air went down, which that's not comfortable at all in this one. And it already has the pre marked spot again. I want to go just a little bit lower. Yeah, I want to go just a hair longer oh. than pre mark. weather strip basically now you're supposed to remove these when winter comes of course which means next year you'd have to buy more sticky back stuff if you want to reuse it they say they're portable and i guess they are portable because they roll but they're not made to move real easy obviously because you'd have to if you don't have this piece set up, you're venting straight into your house. So, I mean, the main thing I want to see is how well it cools, drawing in air from outside. Basically, it wasn't much higher than a window unit. So we're going to see how it does. Here's the piece that just snaps on and off and goes into here. And then this, of course, will pop into there like that. There's the bottom drain. You don't have to have that plug in, that hose plugged in all the time. It will build up from what the book says to a certain level. And after it does, it will beep telling you, hey, I'm full. You need to drain me. And you can open it up and let it drain. What we're going to do is put it on a small stand with a bucket behind it so it always drain and then we can just dump it whenever we want. This piece, as you see, is made to snap in here like this. It's a quick connect snap in piece. Then your hose will just pop in here. This will pop in here. Uh, now I'm going to find me a stand I'm going to use and a bucket and I shall so, be right back. We've decided we're just going to let it, when it's full, we'll just drain it into a bucket. We don't have to have it on the stand. So this thing's adjustable. It perforates out. You want it to pop into place like that. And this will pop into place here. You hear it clicking in and out. Is that for air? coming out this sucks in the air from outside it blows your exhaust sucks air in here and blows it out 
the dirtier out there, the hotter. So now we shall plug it in and see what it does. It's on cool. Running. Part of a kick on. The air is cool, but it's not cold. Maybe you time? Yeah, I mean, it's just like an air conditioner. They don't usually, I mean, just like a window unit. We'll see, I mean, it might not just pop straight away. Just this. It's starting to get cold now. set on air conditioning cool and we will let you know in about I don't know about two hours whether or not it's set any on 62 cooler. I can feel the air getting colder so we will see if it gets cold in here or not like it's supposed to of course we'll turn this up later I just want to get cool in here fast because it's hot okay we will be back in just a bit to let you know the results so far. But I can't feel, put your hand on here and see, feel the cold air start to come out now. Mm -hmm. So, we'll close this room off. Oh yeah, it's starting to get real cold now. We'll close this room off and let you know how it goes. Because like I said, this is a 5,000 BTU. It's a 5,000 BTU. Where does it say out here? So, oh, right here, 5,000 BTUs. So it's basically 150 foot square room. Should do this room this oh, room. Yeah, it's starting to get real cold. So, folks, we'll let you know how it goes, and we'll give you a thumbs up or thumbs down how we're going to recommend it. Like I said, as far as ease of putting it in, it's pretty easy. We'll have to keep an eye on this. As you've seen, it's starting to come loose, so I might have to come in here and push it down a few times to make sure it's sticking because of the room temperature. It's very hot and humid in here. If you've watched our other videos, we have dehumidifiers in our house because it's a very humid house. And we usually get a few gallons of water. Oh yeah, this is real cold. A few gallons of water every day. So the humidity makes it not want to stick like it should. But right now it seems to be sticking better after I push it down. All right, everybody, it's been about a week since we installed this. Um, what I ended up doing was putting it on a stand. We put a bucket back there for the drain. But thus far for the whole week, since we use a dehumidifier, it hasn't made any water at all. And it's not filled up, so we're gonna check that. It's, that's not an issue. I got set on 72. It has done an excellent job. Uh, just got the motor in today to fix the actual central air unit. So it's been about 80, between 80 and 85 in the house. Really hot. But this has actually kept the bedroom and the bathroom, which is the master bedroom and bathroom connected. Uh, it's kept it right at 72. It kicks on and off just like it's supposed to. It, so actually, I've had a lot of luck with these. Like I said, I've had mixed reviews. My brother had good luck with it. I had friends at work that didn't. Um, you can actually feel the hot air coming in and out, going going out. So, uh, I would say they're they're not bad. I mean, you might get other people have different opinion, but this one that we have has done a really good job. Like I said, we've got it up in the air for a little bit for the drain, but we haven't had any water thus far. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'll probably give it four stars. Uh, the only reason I don't give it five is because I don't care too much for this hose. But I re do realize that the uh, portable ones have that hose. But it makes it nice. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's done a good job. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.